Today I'm going to show you how to set up uh, automatic anesthesia charting with xchart.com and the very nice uh, Eden X series monitors. There's a few key things that you have to do on the Eden to kind of turn on the ability for us to talk to it at all. So first thing you're going to do is, and there's two ways of doing it. You can do it with the Wi-Fi or you can do it with a wired connection. I'm going to show you both. We're going to go to the menu and we're going to hit maintenance and then we're going to hit user maintain. And the default password on these is just ABC, all caps. Hit OK. And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom here. And there is a uh, few key things. So first of all, for security. So on the security page, you can turn on kind of what interfaces are available to this device. And what we're going to want to do is make sure that HL7 right here, the two bottom ones are the ones that matter. So HL7 has to be set to on and uh, HL7 encryption has to be set to off. That's very important. After you change these, if you make any modifications, it will ask you, it'll say you have to restart the machine to apply those. And you can open the screen again just to make sure it was actually set, but it should be fine at that point. Okay. Um, the second thing we're gonna wanna do, if we're gonna go to network maintain. So here we have two options. We can either do Wi-Fi or we can do wired connection. I'm gonna show you wired connection first. So if I do that, uh, it's going to take a second. It's going to say configure. And then we're going to want to plug it in. So we got a network connection here. And just turn it to the side here. There's a network port. You want to plug that in. You want to make sure that whatever network you're connecting to here is the same network that you're going to connect actual, you know, the, whatever computer you're going to be using to chart. Obviously, it has to be on the same network for this to work. We can probably just leave it on auto. Uh, if you have special networks set up or whatever, you can do that. But for most people, leaving it on auto will be just fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out here. And one little trick is at this point, when it's set to wired and you hit config again, whatever number is listed here is going to be the IP address that it currently has on your local network. When you set it to auto, it's going to basically find its own IP address on the network. And it's not super obvious that it actually shows it here, but that's once you kind of close the screen and go back, you'll see a number here, and this says the IP address. So if you need that later on in the other steps that we'll go through, that's where to find that for a wired connection. Okay, the other option I'm gonna show you is the Wi-Fi version. I'm gonna go ahead and just switch to Wi-Fi, and it's gonna be very similar. But now, when we hit config, so when you first open it, it'll say, hey, what's your network name? So you find your network, go ahead and tap it, type in your password, and then it's not super obvious, but you have to hit this little link button up at the top to actually connect. So go ahead and hit that. And then wait a second, it'll say connecting, connected, and pretty soon you'll get an IP address here as well. So again, that IP address is something you might need later on, uh, depending on how your network is set up. but. So that's how you find the IP address of the machine um, if you need it on a Wi-Fi connection. Um, I'm going to go ahead now to actually switch to the downloaded software so you can see how it looks when you uh, connect it to Xchart. In order to talk to devices on your local network, we need to have you download and install the appropriate desktop app for your system. So we have both Windows and Mac app option. I have the Mac app installed here already. And at this point, we're here in a case, and all we have to do is hit Connect Vitals Monitor. And we're gonna, of course, select the Eden series. And then uh, it will start searching immediately for uh, monitors on your local network. And this can take, you know, can take up to a minute, but it should find it. So this depends a little bit on how your network is set up. Some of them are kind of obfuscated so it's a little more difficult for uh, it to search on the network but in this particular case uh, it found it just fine and if for whatever reason it does not find it it will show you an error message and then you can choose to enter the IP address manually uh, which is what I showed you before so if you do that then um, you know you, you'll want to refer to the video before about how to get the IP address of the monitor so that you know what to enter into that field uh, you can also hit scan again to rescan. And in this particular case, it only found one monitor. And notice that it says the bed number here as well, as well as the IP address of the connected monitor. So you can confirm that it's the right bed number. 
If you have multiple monitors, uh, you'll want to refer to the section of the video that references how to set the bed number on your monitor. You want to make sure that each monitor in your office has a different bed number so that you can clearly differentiate them. Um, but at this point, we're good to go. So if I hit use this connection, um, really that's it. I'm gonna hit take a BP over here just to get a BP value here. Um, but at this point, we go to the vitals page. You can see that the first set of vitals has been recorded. The clock is ticking on the case here. And at this point, as long as you're seeing the blue bar across the top, you know that you have an active connection and that everything is being captured. Really, that's it. Thanks for your time. The way that you can differentiate between multiple Eden monitors is by setting a bed number. And the way that you do that is if you look in the upper left here, there's a little icon of a bed with a number next to it. So if you just tap that, then right here you can go bed number and you can enter whatever you want. So, um, you know, if I said bed number five, I say okay, then up here it now it says five. So in this way you can set different numbers for different monitors and uh, differentiate them clearly in the app.